Brakathaya Hawa. Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Brakathaya Hawa. Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Brakathaya Hawa. Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Our Lord and our Savior. And Thamash Nakabai lies according to our Get that we're honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahab Labach Yashar Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again to the lesson, Baharukha Khadash Shah Maf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. Um, don't have a specific topic just yet for this video. <clears throat> um, but the lesson is sparked off of watching these, uh, brothers, these elder brothers, these, um, prophets, okay, prophets, priests of the Lord out there in Mississippi. Um, I'm gonna just play the clip and then, you know, we're gonna feed off of that. You know, and that goes back into growing. You got that, uh, hold on. This is uh, the book of Proverbs. Oh, this shit don't play. It says the key word in Proverbs is up. wisdom. The ability to live skillfully. Woo! A godly life in an ungodly world. Hey, to live skillfully a godly life in an ungodly world. Things ain't going to be perfect. Right, so the brothers is going into um, the prologue to Proverbs. And it said the ability to live skillfully to live a godly life in an ungodly world which is exactly where we're at we're, we're definitely in, in the book of first john it says that the whole world lieth in wickedness all right in the book of second peter all right, it talks about the look uh, can you read that um second peter two and five you know it talks about how the lord is going to bring a f the flood upon the ungodly the world of the ungodly Okay, I believe it's, it's yep. This is uh Second Peter two and five. It says, and <coughs> <flucky. coughs> and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. A pre Slaki. <coughs> spared not the old world is talking about in Noah's time. The Lord didn't spare that place, just like how the Lord is not gonna spare this place. All right. He didn't spare that world. He he everybody died. Everybody died. He killed everybody. This is the same God. This is the same power. That's why Peter, this this is um, one of the last books of the Bible. All right. Showing you that Malachi says, I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Lord didn't change. This is the same God that flooded the whole earth, saving only eight souls. All right. And why did he save Noah? Because he was a preacher of righteousness. In the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter said he moved in fear. It said that he had faith. So he built the ark to the saving of his house and condemned the world. Why did he condemn the world? Because the world was ungodly. All right. So Lord willing, we modern day know us. All right. We moving in fear of things not seen yet. We have faith in the prophecies. We have faith in what's written. Okay. Our life is centered around fear and faith of Yahweh by Shami Shai. We're building that ark spiritually. So, Lord's will, we endure unto the end. We, we have the same outcome as Noah. When destruction comes upon this ungodly world, we're going to be sheltered. We're going to be safe and sound on the ark. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right, through this wisdom, it said, uh, uh, what, did, what did it say they were saved? <clears throat> saved through wisdom. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's where we're walking into the best of our ability, right? Walking in this wisdom of the scriptures and the fear of the Lord. Uh, real quick precept. This is Wisdom of Solomon uh, 10 and 9. It says, but wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. Wisdom delivered from pain. All right. Going back into the prologue of Sirach that the brothers was, or the prologue of Proverbs that the brothers was bringing out. That wisdom allows us to live skillfully. When you watch how these people live, they don't got no skill to their life. I'm not talking about, you know, you got you got your CDL. You, get, you know what I'm saying? That's a skill technically, right? Or you got this degree and that. No, the real skills come from the scriptures, man. All right. Uh, the, the college college really goes back to the teaching of the Bible. There's a specific president. He said having a, a good understanding of the Bible. You can look up the quote. Having a good understanding of the Bible is better than a college education. So we got the most we got the best skills that you can possibly have. OK, to to know the Lord. To know his word, to know what he's about to do on this earth, and we need to utilize these skills. How how, how crazy would, would it be for you to have all these skills, 
but you don't utilize. Michael Jordan, here it is, this nigga, he could jump from the free throw line. Nigga, 6'6", six, six, post-up game, crucial. But this nigga's working at UPS, all right? Or Shaq. Nigga, seven foot tall, all right? Seven foot tall, 250 pounds. All right, when his prime, he was athletic, you know? But this nigga is fucking a gardener, right? Yeah, all these skills, but not utilized, not putting none of them to use. Okay, we can't be like that. All right, the advantage, uh, what's in Second, uh, Second Timothy? It speaks about... Uh, yeah, it says, um, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Lord and is profitable mm -hmm. for doctrine, for instruction and reproofs of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And... That word profitable. Yep. I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna I'm just read the scripture real quick. Uh it says all scripture, right? Second Timothy three and sixteen, it says all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the most high may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Right? So this script these these scriptures allow us to to have this instruction, right? Have a, uh, allow us to uh, move in the ways that's uh, pleasing in the eyes of how about Shai? But I'm gonna go into that word that the uh, that the brother mentioned, profitable. This is uh, profitable. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this this uh, Greek word, but uh, you going down go down into the Strong's definition. It says helpful, uh, serviceable. It says advantageous, mm -hmm. right? So these scriptures, this uh, this wisdom allows us to to uh have the advantage in this in on this walk right in this world right and we ought to use it right but that's that's all I want yeah and um uh would you read something before that uh yeah the second peter two right yeah finish on that and then we can go from there to wisdom of solomon eight Con, this is second peter two and five again it says and spared not the old world but saved noah the eighth person a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood of flood upon the world of the ungodly right bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly as it says in the book of uh uh sirach the 40th chapter it says um bloodshed strife tribulation these things are created for the wicked and for their sake came the flood mm -hmm. the flood came upon the wicked the flood came upon the world of the ungodly all right. And just like how the fire and brimstone, the nuclear missiles is going to come upon the wicked. It's going to come upon the world of the ungodly. So we need to be living the opposite of that. We need to be living godly. That's why in Second Peter, the third chapter, it says, seeing that this all these things will be dissolved. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? OK, godly to be godly means to be godlike. We need to be living like God. How do we live like God? By following God's word. Okay. And all, all holiness. How do we live holy? By following the holy Bible. Okay. By applying the wisdom, which gives us the ability to live skillfully, to live godly in an ungodly world. We don't want to live like none of these people. Why? Because look what's about to happen to these people. Same thing that happened in times of Noah. They all about to get smoked. They all about to get judged for their ungodliness. Okay, you got something? Uh, and I was looking, I haven't found it yet. So what are you looking for? Uh, it says, uh, speaks about uh, just the, those that exercise wisdom or those that use wisdom. I can't. I, right. Um, so I, can't. I know what you're talking about. Uh, go ahead and grab that Wisdom of Solomon. Read Wisdom of Solomon 9. In the last three chapters, I'll find that for you, Lord's will. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 16. You said the last three verses? Yeah. <clears throat> it says, and hardly do we guess aright at things that are upon the earth, and with labor do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven, who hath searched out? And thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above. Right, and that counsel who has known, except thou give wisdom, so... It's a blessing to have this wisdom, man, because now we know what we, we know. The Lord's the Lord's giving us counsel. Uh, scriptures talk about um, how good it is to have a, a, a pretty much a counselor, man. All right. In the book of um, Sirach it says do nothing without counsel. OK. Um, in, in the multitude of counselors, there's safety. Here it is right here. Proverbs 24 and six for by wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war and in multitude of counselors there is safety 
And the counselors is Isaiah, Jeremiah, Proverbs, Sirach. All right. These different books and being broken down correctly and directly by the apostles, the elders, the men of great millstone. That gives us gives us the skill that we need. OK, to uh, uh, live in this ungodly world. We, you need hell of skill. With the, with the battles that we're faced with on a daily basis, when you continue to... It's hard for me to hear, but I'm going to continue to play this. Uh, brother got a little bit more to say. you in an imperfect society. You can't make this society match the scriptures. Yeah, I was shy going to do that. All we can do is maneuver in this society using the scriptures, man. Okay? Right. Being able to maneuver in this society. Right. Oh, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Could you get Proverbs, the second chapter? Okay. This is Proverbs 2. We'll okay. start at the top. Okay. This is Proverbs 2 and 1. It says, my son. If thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searches for her as hid treasures. Mm. Oh, so that's how we gotta be. That's how we gotta be about wisdom. You niggas uh, uh all about their money, chasing the bag. We got to be like that times 10 when it comes to wisdom. Yes. Crying after her as for hid treasure. Scriptures mm -hmm. speak about the words that are able to make us wise into to salvation. salvation. yeah. So what's, there's nothing more important than that. And we have to do it. We have to uh, have that faith to understand these things, right? And yep. understand how important this wisdom is to have. It says wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Yeah. Therefore, ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Yeah. Everything, it says, search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life. All our problems will be solved through wisdom. It, it, what, what's written when all it, when what's written is enforced on this earth, then everything will be all good, man. So that's what we need to invest in. We need to. There's no point in investing in, you know, uh, says, um, you know, wisdom is, is prudence, man. The foresight to see what is good. All right. To see what is profitable. OK, and that's what we have There's no point of investing in something that you're not going to get a return on. All right. Which is this is this world, everything in this world that you invest in, you're not going to get no return on it. All right. Everything is said. The fastest of this world pass away, said the world hasted fast to pass away. So as it says in the book of Matthew, it says, store up your treasures in heaven where moth and rust do if not corrupt, where thieves do not break through and steal. Incorruptible, they do it for a corruptible crown. We do it for an incorruptible crown. Something that don't fade away. All right. Something that's pure. The scriptures talk about, uh, um, you know, uh, well, in, wherein dwelleth all good things. You know, mm -hmm. precious, exceeding great and precious promises. Under oh, this is the one I was looking for. I'm glad the Spirit gave it gave it to me. Undefiled rewards. Undefiled rewards, man. Something that's undefiled, something that's meaning it's never been touched. It don't have no flaw. It's literally perfect. There's, you couldn't find nothing wrong with it. And there will never be anything wrong with it ever. That's undefiled. Okay? And it's through what? Through wisdom. Wisdom is everything. Wisdom's our main squeeze. The Greek word for wisdom is Sophia. Sophia is our, our love. The apple of our eye. Our everything, our life, you know, all, all those, you know, me amor. Okay, all them, you know, you, you say those different things to a woman. All right, but wisdom, you, you, we really feel that way about wisdom. I can't, I can't do nothing without you. You know, them different, them different love songs, you know, that's how, that's how you play, hear some of them love songs. I ain't thinking about no fucking female. I'm thinking about wisdom. Uh, damn, what's them niggas name? Back Black Street. I think that's them niggas that don't leave me, girl. You know, stay stay with me tonight. No, don't leave me. You know, the nigga crying and begging the female not to leave him and shit. But that's how we are with wisdom. Never leave me. 
Don't forsake me. The scriptures talk about that, man. In the book of uh, uh, Sirach, the sixth chapter. You know, you do, we don't want her to cast us off. All right. Talks about she will try, try him by his discipline. Uh, or it says in Wisdom of Solomon, wisdom will not enter into malicious soul, nor dwell with him that is subject unto sin. But you got something? Yes. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 1. It says, wisdom reacheth from one end to another, to another mightily, and sweetly doth she order all things. She got everything. She just on point. She just everything, you know? Yeah. Everything. She do everything right. She don't, she don't do nothing wrong. She don't, you know? Yeah, anything that we're dealing with in this world, it, it doesn't have that attribute. Right, right. Everything here is polluted. Micah 2 and 10, it says, arise and depart, for this is not your rest, and it will destroy you with a sore destruction. Right, and, and and all these things within this world that we would, uh, that anyone would want over wisdom, ultimately is polluted. But with this wisdom is going to bring us undefiled things, right? Yeah. Like the brother said, right? Scriptures speak about the the corruptible crown. <clears throat> the, this wisdom is going to give us an, uh, an incorruptible, incorruptible crown, uh, right? Yeah. But uh, this is verse two. Yeah, it says that um, in Second Ezra, it says, in this world uh, is full of um, unrighteousness and infirmities. This world is completely defiled. It's filthy. Everything is filthy. The bodies that we're in is filthy. Okay? The women, you know, that we deal with, they're filthy. Everything is filthy. Okay? Your children, even young, very young children, they're, they're not pure. They're not pure as they're supposed to be. They're defiled. They're, nothing is perfect in this place is what I'm, uh, what I'm getting at. But in the kingdom, which is what wisdom is bringing us to, Right? Everything is there. Everything is perfect there. Not 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 a flaws. There's no flaws there. Your women are women will be undefiled. They'll be perfect. They'll be in their right mind. Okay, you don't need to play no games with no bitch. Not going to be no playing no games with no bitch. All right? It's going to be empire building with with virgin with women, with wives. It's not going to be baby mamas in our kingdom. It's going to be wives. Okay? Fucking baby mama, that's that's one of the most wicked things Esau got in this society, man. A damn baby mama. That's like one of the, that's like a taskmaster. All right, over specifically over the Israelite man. All right, but there's a lot of Edomites that's fucked up off of that shit, man. That fell victim to to a trap that Esau laid for uh, uh for us, for the Israelite man. Okay, but go ahead in that wisdom of Solomon. This is why the Lord need to come in and, and set order to this place, right? Scriptures speak about in Sirach 10, uh, one that's profitable, gonna, uh, gonna yeah. move to earth. Yeah, in due season, he will set over it one that is profitable. Yeah, so this is what we waiting for. We're not worried about the things that's on this side. Yeah. We're worried, we, we worried about getting this wisdom now so that, can, so that we can go into the kingdom. Yep. There's nothing profitable about a baby mama. Yeah. What is that profit? Oh, co-parenting. Well, that don't profit. You can't. You can't build a stable, structured house with a damn baby mama. This bitch got boyfriends. Here it is. You're supposed to be the father of the house. The father of the house I means you're, you're the husband. You, you're in charge. That's the order. That's the rule. But this bitch got a boyfriend with your kids around that nigga. And you can't do nothing about it. This bitch got you going to court dates. Talking about custody of your seed. They got your last name. They got your face, your blood, your DNA. And you battling with this, with, 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 this, with Esau and this bitch about how many days you get to see your seed. <laughs> this place got to go. Okay. And, and I, I know wisdom. Sophia would never do that to me. <laughs> Sophia would never do that to me. Right. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah, this, is, <clears throat> this is wisdom of Solomon 8 and 2. It says, I loved her. And sought her out from my youth. I desired mm. to make her my spouse. Mm -hmm. right, that's who we dealing with. We're not worried about no no stanky woman from yeah. the world. I'm in I'm in a committed relationship with wisdom. Yeah. My main squeeze. Uh uh. You get a woman here, she'll she'll forever be a side piece. Okay? She'll always be second to wisdom. Mm -hmm. She'll always be second to Sophia. Go ahead. Yep, it says I desire to make her my spouse. And that's why when brothers, you know, a lot of brothers that be dealing with a woman when they first come into the truth, a lot of times that woman don't stick around too long. 
I know me personally, man, I was, this is my so-called high school sweetheart, man. And I'm coming into the truth. Oh, I didn't give a, f I just forgot about the bitch. Like, I'm just, we were together, but I, I was just too caught up, bro, in wisdom. She'll be over there, bro, I'm watching the videos, you know, putting on my TV and shit. I'm there uh, taking notes, locked in. Like, the, she didn't even exist. Okay? And, you know, that, that end up, that, that's literally like, you know, part of a lot of brothers you know, first trial lose that 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 woman okay right because really you found who you who you really love the first love yeah our first love mm -hmm. the wife of our youth it says be thou ravished with her love and and, and and let her breast satisfy thee at all times all right this is this wisdom brings satisfaction you know go ahead it says i desire to make her my spouse and I was a lover of her beauty. And look what came with that. Man. Look what came with King Solomon, you know, uh, desi making making a wisdom his spouse. Yeah. Look what happened when he, 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 he was a lover of her beauty. He was a philosopher. But, you know, the, the purest definition, you know, or, or the rawest definition of philosopher is to love wisdom. Philo is love. Sofer goes back to Sophia, which is wisdom. He's a lover of wisdom. He's a philosopher. And because he put wisdom first, everything else came with it. Yep. Undefi he had women that was uh, untouched. A thousand, a thousand women. 700 princesses, wives, 300 concubines. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they were, none of them was, you know, t they were all virgins. Okay? That's what wisdom got him. A glorious kingdom. He was getting tribute. From all from different kings and different nations, monthly they was just bringing a bunch of shit. Yearly, just bringing a bunch of shit. So there was no king like him. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So this, is, this shows the 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 byproduct mm -hmm. of receiving this, uh, getting this wisdom within us. Uh, with uh, Yahweh, uh, when uh, Yish, uh Salaki, when uh, when King Solomon prayed for that wisdom. Uh, Yahweh Shai ended up giving him uh, all the uh, other uh, all other things, right? The 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 uh, next. enemies next. Yeah. Uh, he gave him the, uh, the riches, right? He gave him all those things that he gave him, right? Wisdom, wisdom came before all those things, and this is the understanding that we ought to have in in this life that we living in, right? Where this place where uh, light is set for darkness and darkness for light, mm -hmm. we have to we have to stay with the understanding that wisdom got to be our main squeeze always. Yep. Go ahead. This is uh, back to wisdom of Solomon eight and three. It says, and that she is conversant with the most high, she magnifieth her nobility. Yea, the Lord Jehovah, uh, the Lord of all things himself loved her. And mm. it, it just reminded me of uh, how it says uh, wisdom, uh, bring it to immortality. Uh, wisdom, uh, bring it to immortality, right? There's nothing more uh, profitable than receiving this wisdom within us. Yeah. But uh, continuing on, it says, for she is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of the most high and a lover of his works if riches be a possession to be desired in this life what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things mm. yeah. what is richer than wisdom so we the richest you may not see it <clears throat> physically the bank account may not show it but we're the richest people on the earth all right scriptures say that um you know the lord has chosen the, the poor of this world but rich in faith that's who he's dealing with and soon it will magnify itself physically. We're going to live like Solomon. One day we're going to live like Solomon. We're going to live better than Solomon lived. We're going to live better than King Solomon. I'm talking about individually the elect. That 144. Man. Oh, how I hope to be at that number when the saints come marching in. It says Solomon was not array like one of these lilies. So the guy's great as Solomon was. In the kingdom, man, elect, the elect men going to be living better than that. You know, the elect men is going to have more than a thousand wives. The elect men is going to be getting more substance than King Solomon uh, uh, was getting. It said that the latter house should be greater than the first. Yep. It's like if you quote it. <clears throat> yep. It's, it talks about, um, it talks about, you know, we'll have to bring in the, <laughs> the old storehouse because of the new Pretty much, Solomon had chariot cities. <laughs> he had cities, just a bunch of chariots, bunch of armor and shit, man. City is like a closet. 
The city was like a closet for specific things. We gonna have cities like that are just for storehouses to store shit up. You know what I'm saying? Whole city is just yours, but it's like a closet. You know what I'm saying? You just go there. You know, you get whatever materials you need. You got brothers coming to town. You, you send niggas to, yeah, go to my treasure city. Go to my, you know, my chariot city. I got some brothers coming into town. I need to send them some gifts. All right, I need to give them some gifts when they get here. Okay, and when they leave, make sure you get something ready for them. That's how we going to be living, man. I truly wholeheartedly believe that, man. You have to truly, we were going into last night. We have to be fully persuaded in these different things, man. Because if we're fully persuaded that this this is going to be given to us, then there's only one way to move, which is with wisdom, so that we can obtain these undefiled rewards. You know, but go ahead. It says, <clears throat> it says, and if prudence work, who of all that are is, and if prudence work, who of all that are is a more cunning workman than she? Mm. And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues, for she teaches temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. So we got the most profitable thing. She teaches temperance, justice, fortitude. She's, she puts us on. She's up. We're being upgraded, which is the title of the brother's video. Growing in faith. Growing in faith. We got to apply wisdom. All right, to grow in faith. Growing in faith isn't just, you know, you able to quote more precepts, able to memorize more precepts. Growing in faith is being able to apply more precepts, to use more precepts. All right, making us what? More skillful in this, in this, in this thing called life. Right? Go ahead. We can start wrapping it up on that too. Kind of, um, it says, if a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old. And conjectureth aright what is to come, she knoweth the subtilities of speeches, and can and can expound dark sentences, for she foreseeth signs and wonders, and the events of seasons and times. Therefore, she I, foreseeth signs and wonders, the events of seasons and times. We we know what times we live in, in because of wisdom. Wisdom came to us, right? The spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua came to us and gave us a warning. To get ready before he destroys uh, uh, this ungodly world. There's nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. Before he destroyed the, the destroys this place, he allowed us to receive wisdom so that we can prepare ourselves and get right before that happens. Right. So lucky. He said, uh, it said, she foreseeth signs and wonders. Right? The Lord, through this wisdom, gave us that vision. Right? It says, where there is no vision, the people, people perish. perish. Right, so the Lord gave us the ability to escape these things to come, right, through this wisdom, right? And that ultimately there's nothing more profitable than that. Right. Nothing on this side is more profitable than having this wisdom and being able to walk wisely in all our ways. Like it speaks about how King David moved. Mm -hmm. So this is gotta be the main main thing that we do in trying to move, receive this wisdom and walk in it into the best of our ability. Yeah. Said King Sa it said uh King King Saul, he feared King David because he moved wisely in all his ways. It's the same thing uh, uh with with the, these the people of this world. S starting with Esau Edom, our biggest enemy, man. He fears us moving with wisdom. Says after three days and a half, the spirit of life entered into them, which is wisdom. Says that wisdom is the breath in the previous chapter of Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. Sa <coughs> says that she's the breath of the most high. Okay, so the, the the breath of life entered into us and great fear fell upon them which saw, which saw us. All right, it says that um, uh, grieveth the enemy, to, you know, to teach the son, to teach your son, grieveth the enemy. The Lord is teaching his sons. The Lord is training us. said, train up a child in the way that he shall go and he shall not depart from it. We're being trained in the right way. We're being taught in the white uh, in the right way, man. And it's grieving the enemy, it's fear. We're moving wisely in the fear of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. And that, that's what Esau, he don't fear a nigga with a bunch of tattoos and a gun. All right, with his pants off his fucking ass and uh, a, a blunt in his ear, man, with some black ass gums. He don't fear that nigga, man. All right. Esau likes us weak, right? This through this yep. wisdom, yep. the understanding, we, gain, we get that strength that says wisdom, strength in the a man more than 10, ten cities, yeah right so this he he uh esau uh understands these things right so he understands that uh without this wisdom will be destroyed it, was, uh, it says uh i believe it's in hosea it says uh the lord destroyed them for lack of knowledge roughly paraphrasing 
right? So they, he, uh, Esau understands these things and tries to keep us away from, from this wisdom, right? She keeps us trying to move in that, that low vibration, at that low spirit. But we, but we coming back to you, how about Shemiah Shai? Esau shaking in his boots. Yeah. Real quick, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 19, you quoted it wrong. It, wisdom of Solomon strengtheneth strengthen the Salakia. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than 10 mighty men which are in the city. You know, so this is strength. Uh, and Proverbs says, lean not unto your own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him. He, was, he shall direct thy paths. It shall be strength to your bones, health to your navel. This is a strong man. A strong man is a man that has the wisdom of Yahweh by Shami Yahweh Shai. That's a real strong man. She teaches temperance, fortitude. Fortitude is strength, man. Justice, prudence. That wisdom of Solomon, just everything a man needed, she brings that. She gives us that. She supplies us with that. If we use what's written. You got, can you go back to that Proverbs too? Oh, uh, yeah. I couldn't find that precept either that you was talking about. You got Apocrypha? Let me see that Apocrypha. This is Proverbs 3 <clears throat> and um, verse 14. Yeah, it says, Proverbs 3 and 14. Yeah. You started the top again. This is Proverbs 2 and 1. It says, my son... If thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to under, unto understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh and find the knowledge of the Most High. Right, scripture speak about how there's nothing sweeter than the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, this is the most profitable thing, right? So, I believe you quoted it earlier. Uh, this is the main duty of man to to fear Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and keep His commandments, right? So, this is this is what we need to be. This is how we need to be walking. Right? Go ahead. It says, verse five. Then it says, um, verse five. Then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh and find the knowledge of the Most High. For Yahweh giveth wisdom out of his mouth. Out of, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is mm. a buckler to them that walk up Damn. rightly. Damn. He, he laid this wisdom up for the righteous. So for us to have this man is a great sign. It says wisdom returneth unto them that practice therein. You know, so a hey, Lord's will... You know, say uh, wisdom returneth. Um, I think I just quoted it right. Yeah, wisdom returneth unto them that practice their return. Meaning, it's given. You know, it, it's given back to us. Being uh, Paul, Peter said, "I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance." All right, it's being drawn out of us, man. The fear of the Lord is created with the faithful in the womb, and fearing the Lord is synonymous with wisdom. It says the beginning of wisdom. Uh, to fear the Most High is the beginning of wisdom. All right. But you got anything else? I, did that? Did it say uh, to give subtility to the simple? Did you read that already? Uh, no. Look that up real quick. Subtility, subtility to the simple. It might be Proverbs, the first chapter. <coughs> yeah, that sounds right. It says, uh, nah. Oh, damn, I can't spell. Proverbs 1 and 4. I got it. This Proverbs 1 and 4 says to give subtility. I start at 1 Proverbs because this is the, you know, sparked off of the prologue of Proverbs, right? Mm -hmm. To give skill, you know, to for, for his men to live godly in an ungodly world. All right. It talks about um, how Josiah, you know, uh, his name, you know, is like uh, the apothecary. You know, could you get that? Um, Sirach, I want to say Sirach 43. But this is Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 1. It says, The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, to give subtility to the simple. That's skill. Right? That's that oil. All right? To, to, to maneuver while we in this web. All right? This, this world is a web. Snares and nets is a trap. All right, that's why on the back of the dollar bill there's what? Spider webs. It's all a fucking trap in this damn place, man. But what gives us 
the ability to maneuver in this trap. It's like them, you know, them uh, high maximum security is fucking lasers. You know, they got them lasers all over the place and shit. Right. Right. This is what allows us to get through them lasers. This is what allows us to get through all the traps, right? To give subtility to the simple. It's <coughs> 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 uh, To the young man, knowledge and discretion, uh, which is everything that we need, man. We need that. That's what a man needs. That's what makes a man. Okay, did you find that? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> this is Sirach 49 and 1, or Ecclesiasticus. It says, the remembrance of Josiah is like the composition of the perfume that is made by the art of the apothecary. Mm. It says, it's skill. You know, you make that skill to, to make that perfume, to make that, that smell good. It takes skill. Right? Go ahead. It says, it is sweet as honey. In mm. all mouths and as music at a banquet of wine. Mm. He behaved himself uprightly in the conversation, the conversion of the people, and took away the abominations of iniquity. Right. He behaved himself uprightly. That means what? He moved with wisdom. Go ahead. He moved with fear and faith to the Lord. Go ahead. Until he went off, you know, towards the end of his life. But go ahead. It says he directed his heart unto the Lord. And in time, in the time of the ungodly, he established the worship of the Most High. In the time of the ungodly, he established the worship of the Lord. And that's what we're doing. This is the time of the ungodly. This is the uh, ungodly world. The whole world lieth in wickedness. The Lord said, I test the world hateth me because I testify that the works thereof are evil. This is an evil, well, the future is an evil world. It's an evil world we live in. It's an ungodly world, man. Okay. And we're establishing the worship of the Lord correctly and directly. The hour cometh and now is where the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Do you have anything else? No. Having I said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Nathamash Nakabai, Lazar, Komishar, Sharala. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that were well. Shalom, Wahab, Labachiar, Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Achim, best keep on pushing, say, Sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nigh and redemption is near than we believe. Shalom. Shalom.